Hey there, welcome to today's video. It's Laura, thank you so much for watching. I want to talk today um, about learning. And <clears throat> just to pick up with my video from yesterday when I shared the <laughs> very intense experience I had with a, a rattlesnake on the trail, and you can go back and check that out if you missed it. It was a pretty, pretty crazy experience I had, and I, I realized last night when I was trying to go to sleep how much of an impact that left on me. I was having these pretty intense flashes of um, seeing my dogs get bit and yeah, it was, it was crazy. <clears throat> anyway, and I wrote about this in my blog yesterday so I won't um, fully rehash that because if you're seeing this video you're probably within my blog and you probably hopefully read it. Um, but you know, I, I do have a firm belief that you know, when, when things happen to us and unusual circumstances come up in our day, you know, that is a gift, an opportunity that we have to to learn something, to gain some insight. And so it's not to say that I run around trying to interpret every little thing that happens to me, but it was a pretty unusual um, situation and the the emotions and the like brain chemistry that was going on were so intense for me that I felt like, again, here's this opportunity um, to kind of call my mind back to what those feelings were like in that moment and how can I make use of them in moving forward in my life. And so, you know, I, I, I had to figure out a way to protect my dogs and myself and to get around that rattlesnake. And so, you know, if you want to look for the metaphor there, the symbolism, that, that rattlesnake could be a lot of things in terms of my own personal growth. Um, I think in some ways, for me, it could represent myself getting in my own way. Um, and some of the pitfalls and obstacles that we come across, you know, as we're trying to grow and, and grow businesses and um, just become better people. So <clears throat> when I meet a roadblock, I will access those that intensity, those feelings, and remind myself, because yesterday it was like, I'm going to get around this thing. Um, and we did, and we were safe. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, uh, yeah, it <laughs> definitely left an impression on me. So also on the topic of learning, you know, from some of the personal development that I'm, I'm working on, uh, some of the audio I'm listening to, just want to share a couple concepts, you know, and, and basic concepts, you know, if we can grasp these, it kind of sets us up for other learning down the road. Um, so the, the first one of the concepts is who, who are you listening to? Who are you um, allowing yourself to be taught by and being really aware of that and conscientious about it? And, um, you know, in this, in this world of working from home and, and building a business, there's just so much information out there. Um, some of it misguided, some of it coming from the wrong source. You know, and so in, in being really, you know, you have this precious thing, this legacy that you're trying to build, you, you know, you, I believe that we should be open-minded and, and willing to listen and hear from other people, um, quiet, sorry, it's my guard dog, um, but we should also be mindful of who those people are and do they have the evidence in their own life, in the way that they're living in the results that they're getting, that there are people that we should be making ourselves available to. You know, unfortunately, I have a, um, I've had some experience with this lately that's kind of taught me uh, a little bit the, the hard way, but that's okay. You know, those experiences, again, are given to us so that we can learn from them. So I'm just trying to be mindful of who I'm learning from and where I'm learning. Um, and the second one is your, it's called your teachability index. And what that means is how, how willing are you to learn? new things and what's your willingness to accept change meaning are you willing to look at doing things a different way and actually putting that into practice in your life and that means you know if if you're way up there on like you're very willing to learn and you're very willing to accept change in your life um, whatever that may look like um, you know getting rid of your cable having a different schedule doing things that don't feel comfortable necessarily if those two things are way up there then you're in a great place. You're set up to be available for learning and, and actually putting things into practice that are going to help you achieve your your desired outcome and your goals. Um, you know, and and in trying to understand, like, well, how do I know if I'm really teachable or not, or if I'm willing to learn? You know, one question you can ask yourself is, am I willing to give up some of my favorite things? You know, if if uh, you know, I'll come back to TV. I think it's a great example. If you're willing to give up watching hours of TV because you love it, then okay, that's that's a step in the right direction. Um, you know, uh, or do you spend a lot of time cruising around Facebook, um, you know, kind of wasting time, not to say that Facebook isn't a great place, it is, but, 
you know, these things that you can look at in your life and, and ask yourself that hard question, you know, am I willing to give this up in order to achieve this other outcome? So that's my thought provokers for you today. And I'm going to wish you a, a, an abundance and great day. Click the link below if, like I said, you want to check out a little more about my story yesterday. It's in yesterday's blog, and that, that link is below this video also. And I will see you in the next video.